OMG, look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions, my partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes, totally different. But water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Let's take a beat. No need to rush into championship defenses. I'm sure we both have a few other things we want to do anyway. Not untrue. I'll catch you later. Ready? We're as ready as we're going to be. I love it. Wrestling has more than one royal family. champions open challenge like indestructible villains in a horror movie. A horror movie we've seen too many times. I think I speak for the WWE Universe when I say it's time for a new era in tag team dominance. Will Asuka and Tamina regain their tag team titles from the new champions? Or will the champions kick off Corey's new era in tag team dominance? It's time to find out. place and yeah it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner she throws her back in oscar retaliates Whoa! Matt Slam with some attitude and oscar gets stopped in her tracks with the five fingers say to the face. She manages to get control. <laughs> I'll see him double after that one. That's 
to be illegal. <coughs> that unraveled on Oscar. Wow, look at that slam. Oscar's tangled here. Taken out with a big exploder. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Scoop exploder. The front face lock applied. Nice suplex. First forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Ooh. Enough damage has been done. Waistline. Now that is why there's a champ. And there's the save. And now Tamina said what he saw. Elbow smash. And now we're playing with great minds thinking alike. There'll be some collateral damage on the way here. performance. Something wicked in mind. Oh, I said fly. From behind. Into the German. Knee strike. Whoa. Drop kick all the way to the outside. Champions will be underestimating them after this. 
I didn't realize you were here tonight. Oh, last minute podcast business. Sorry for not giving you a heads up, but I'm glad I was here. It's just like the Bella Twins to show up and ruin everything. You okay? Yeah, and it sounds like you have something in common. They're also upset about never having the chance to compete for the tag championships. Don't say that. I have nothing in common with them. Those two ran me out of WWE. Didn't your injury run you out of WWE? My injury just sealed the deal. When the Bella Twins arrived, it was the beginning of the end. Suddenly, no one was interested in the women as athletes and competitors. They started telling me I was supposed to be a diva. You should be thankful you don't have to deal with that. I still don't know if that's exactly the Bella Twins' fault. I wonder if you'd feel that way if your matches kept getting bumped for bikini contests or schoolgirl matches, or pillow fights. The Bellas may not have been the whole Divas division, but they were a big part of building it. Honestly, I always liked the Divas. Seems like your real issue was with WWE management. Did I ever tell you I was supposed to give a retirement speech? After I found out I could no longer compete, I was going to have the chance to go out on Raw and have a proper farewell. I really wanted to thank the fans for supporting me throughout my career and tell them firsthand why I had to leave. So what happened? It was cut for time. WWE decided to cover the Bellas going on a double date instead. Wow, I'm so sorry. I never had an issue with the Bellas, but knowing that definitely puts them in a different light. And I'm certainly not a fan of what they did to us tonight. I'm not going to let Nikki and Brie push us around. You know, WWE has been requesting that I book the Bella Twins on ruthless digression so they can do press on their various frivolous projects. I blew them off because of, well, everything. But maybe it would be a good idea to set up an interview. Would be a real shame if anything happened to them while they're recording in the studio. I understand what you're saying. Anything can happen in a podcast studio. And it won't be a pillow fight. I'll talk to Ava. It does seem like both of you always manage to keep busy, even before your surprise return. Groundbreaking reality shows, a podcast of your own. When you were in WWE before, you each held that Divas Championship, but whoa. Smackdown is our show now. Stay in your lane. That's enough. You've done enough. Break it up. What the hell are you thinking? Get them out of here, now! Wrestling has more than one royal family.
What did the trainer say? I'm okay. They said I'd be out for about a week, but nothing serious. That's frustrating, but it could have been a lot worse. Didn't expect the Bellas to be ready for us at all. Maybe we underestimated them. Just a little bit. Take care of business until I'm back, okay? I certainly will. There's two of them, but at the end of the day, they're just the Bella Twins. Wrestling has more than one royal family. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. Survivor Series, Justine is back! And what a time to return. There's always been bad blood between Justine and the Bellas, and it looks like it's about to boil over here tonight. Reversal, what a counter! Stomping, ouch! Saw that coming. Turns that back on Nikki. Nikki Bella out of the way. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. That offense taking a toll on her. Well, we knew going into this match that Nikki counters the strike. But Justine doesn't seem content to just sit on the sidelines. Justine's doing everything she can to keep her niece in this match. What's Natalia doing out here? And why is she helping the Bella Twins? Nikki nails the spear. And it's over. Natalia's distraction is enough to help the Bellas help themselves. In any event, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of this rivalry. Not with that ending. And not with the Bellas continuing to stir things up here on SmackDown. We still don't know why Natalia got involved, but it looks like Justine is even madder about it than her niece. Wrestling has more than one royal family. It's no secret that I've butted heads with both the Bellas in the past, but I am done with the shade being thrown on them and the WWE Divas division. I'm not an idiot. I know what some people have said about the women involved in that era, both behind our backs and to our faces, or in some people's cases, hiding behind a keyboard on social media. But the truth is, the Divas division was made up of talented competitors, all looking for their opportunity to shine, just like the women of today. As divas, we had to fight for everything we got, whether it was a chance to speak or a two-minute match. 
I would have thought a superstar who did her fair share of time in catering would understand taking advantage of every possible opportunity. Make no mistake, I am damn proud of how far this women's division has come. But I'm also proud of where we've been. It's time to respect the women who helped pave the way for the women's revolution. That includes the divas. And if anyone has a problem with that, they have a problem with me. Wrestling has more than one royal family. Crazy that only one week out of action has made me this fired up to get back in the ring. Good. Use that fire against Natalia. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. We certainly need to take care of the Bella Twins. But I'm not sure I would have gone so hard on them on social media in the first place. Justine's been telling me all about what she went through with the Divas nonsense. How the Divas division changed WWE for her. For all women, really. Listen, no disrespect to your aunt, but I kind of see where Natalia's coming from. I think she has a point. A point? I don't know. WWE has come so far since the Divas division. And I'm not going to be nostalgic about the past. Certainly not a past that, in my opinion, did more harm than good. Besides, I want to beat the Bella Twins. Now those last two points we can agree on. There's no use debating the past. Not when we can defeat all four of them and also have a little fun in the present. You feeling ready for your match tonight? Ava and I are good to go. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to put a stop to any divas, naturally. And if Natalia and Beth want to take on that mantle tonight, that includes them. You mean watch us do that? Sure, that's what I meant. And I'll be in your corner. That's really okay. Ava and I will be fine on our own. It's no problem, really. It's my honor to support you. Oh, okay. Are you sure you wouldn't be more comfortable supporting us from backstage? I would not. Okay, then. Guess we're doing this. Wrestling has more than one royal family. second. Well, what's happening? I didn't think the Bella Twins were here tonight. The Bella Twins are, but the Tag Team Champions are, and it looks like they're having more than a little fun imitating the Bellas. They're dressed just like them, too. I don't think it's meant to be a tribute, Byron, although they certainly must have studied their tape to get the Bellas moves down like that. As 
this match gets underway, is there any concern the tag champs may be splitting focus between their opponents and the Bellas? I agree. It could be giving Natalia and Beth Phoenix extra motivation to set these young champs straight. Well, they're going to have to set a legend straight while they're at it because Justine has come to ringside in the champ's corner. We'll see what role she plays in this match. Oh. Uh, Shinbreaker. Not done yet. Nasty dragon screw. Oh, timely counter by Natalia. Go behind. Oh, oh, this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Flapjack! Face first. Oof! the kick. Reversal on top of reversal. Ooh, what a forearm club. Nice right, suplex. Vertical souffle. Hoist it up. Delivering the suplex. She's losing some steam now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Natalia might be wasting too much time worrying about the crowd. From the apron. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And she slides her back to the mat. Oh, what power with the German. She's tagged in. Running crossbody. Oh, what a DDT! Wow. So punch. Tossed into the corner. Tagged in. Start counting, Saxton. One. Natalia in off the tag. And she had Natalia's number there. And now dropping the bombs. Oh no, there could be trouble working for her with this submission maneuver. And she dodges out there nicely. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Textbook scoop slam. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no. Suplex. Suplex. Spine crushing. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. Escapes with a knee to the gut. Go behind. Doesn't go well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. The defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Oh man, check out this power. Here's the cover. Oh, that gets reversed. Look the cover. Just power out. Go behind. Nine. Looking bad for her here. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Kick to the midsection. Could be. Uh oh. Ooh, got caught with a punch to the face. And she'll make the tag. Great counter. Oh, on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam, suplex.
outside. Now Beth Phoenix might be in trouble here. to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Race lock. Hoisting their opponent. Oh, Fisherman Buster. There's a tag. Oh, and a reversal. Man, drop kick. Things not going how she'd like. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be. Race line. Just as effective as her opponent. And I couldn't put her away. In fact, I think it made her angrier. But if we see one more devastating move again, this can be over soon. Big form. Alive. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the sh uh oh, we're gonna see it. All tied up. Burn guard. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed the opponent was about to break free. So she's been effectively targeting that area throughout this match. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, we're gonna see it. There it is. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Did she do it here? Blow the abdomen 
gets them out of that. What a gutsy performance. She turns it around on Phoenix. Nice sit out powerbomb. Ava interrupts the attack. Ooh, she responds with a counter. This is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Natalia landed it right there. And every hit Ava is taking now is more fatal than ever. Yeah, Ava has to pull her teeth now and find a way to fire back here. That's a job. She's able to get out of the way. Throws her back in from ringside. Gotta find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Ooh, hello. Tag made. Tag made. Oh, man. Look at this. Whip right into the barricade. Ah, oh, best caught by the counter. Waist lock. The big gun fired yet again. Front face lock applied. Nice suplex. She's in danger of a counter here. I don't know if she cares. Oh, it's coming. Forget it. She's counting sheep. Wrestling has more than one royal family. Wrestling has more than one.